Okay, welcome back to Dr. Noah's Pro Tandem YouTube update, oxidative stress. And so today we're going to talk about diabetes <clears throat> in a couple of um, these uh, medical journal articles. And, and that's what's kind of exciting is that Pro Tandem has good science on it. And as we'll talk about oxidative stress, that's the dogma, that's the basic kind of concept for over 200 diseases. That's why we can talk about so many things. Uh, it's a fundamental uh, component in terms of aging. So even if you don't have cancer, diabetes, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, aging processes is something that is a natural process and oxidative stress is a way to once again slow that process down. And we know from uh, published uh, from Dr. McCord uh, in uh, archives, or excuse me, uh, free radical biology, that this particular type of natural compound is able to reduce the oxidative stress, even someone who is almost 80 years old, down to a 20 year old, year old or younger. So that's what we want to do. Uh, whether or not you know you have some type of quote, you know, miracles, which you, know, you can check my YouTube's people who have gotten better. It's just once again a preventive type of thing. You need your oxidative stress down. It's like just like if your house was, you know. Uh, 300 degrees, that's just not a healthy, you need to reduce that, that temperature, irregardless of how much you might burn or how much you kind of react to it, uh, you need to get that temperature down. So in this uh, Diabetes Care, Volume 26, Number 5, uh, says new insights on oxidative stress and diabetic complications may lead to antioxidant therapy. So that's what's kind of, you know, a kind of a sad statement in terms of maybe who you see your uh, medical doctor, is that this is all published in their journals. Antioxidant is not something, you know, out there, you know, cut, you know, not even cutting edge. This was published in 2003. This has been known since the late 60s. Is that <clears throat> if you have these disorders, you definitely need to be thinking about antioxidant therapy. And it's not some kind of kooky thing that you hear at the health food store or, you know, you hear from, you know, you know when you get your hair done from your hairstylist. This is all science. And so that's what they're they stated in that publication. This one uh, here stated in Diabetes, volume 52, March. Um, they state that clinically consideration of antioxidants as an adjunct therapy, which means an additional therapy in type 2 diabetes is warranted. So these are people from, you know, these happen to be people from, uh, only from um, uh, Northwestern University, very prestigious uh, uh, research uh, like that. So over and over again, we see that these things aren't crazy. I get, I get, you know, comments from my patients. Oh, I want to see my my medical doctor, and he or she rolled her eyes. Why are they rolling her eyes? I mean, this is just as good as their drug. I mean, this is in their drug journals, and just as good as their drugs. So where they're rolling their eyes were. So that's with problems. Another citation here in Diabetes Journal. Um, uh, role of oxidative stress in development of complication in diabetes. Uh, quotation. Uh, this study was to gain a better understanding of the relation between oxidative stress and development of complications. It's, it's a fact. It's not like, you know, my opinion, a high oxidative stress. So if you can reduce your oxidative stress down to a 20-year-old, if you have these diseases, which we know are very, very high, you are going to benefit, irregardless of what, you know, other type of factors are going in in your life. And just one more, this was in Journal of Biochemistry, Molecular, and to Molecular Toxicology, Volume 17, Diabetes, Oxidative Stress, and Antioxidants, a review. And this is from the University of, uh, where is this? Uh, University of School of Medicine in Bloomington, Indiana. Let's get peer review, universities, uh, you know, these are drug, drug type of studies like that, and that, that's what they said, is that, that they wanted to find out that antioxidants, they, there's, there's evidence to support that uh, clinical uh, both experimental and clinical studies suggest that oxidative stress, this is their, their quotation, not mine, plays a major role in the pathogenesis, that means the, the history as your disease gets worse and all the problems you have of both types of, type, of, of diabetes, both type 1 and type 2. So these are very, very important things to be having considered in your body to be able to deal with these devastating things. Now we know that type 2 diabetes is 100% absolutely positively curable, so that's not. But if you choose not to go that route, you need at least something like this to, to uh, minimize the amount. And at the, quote, the end of the quotation, it says that this, this review elicited the mechanism by which increased oxidative stress accelerates the development of diabetic complex, uh, complications and uh, is in a effort to expand treatment options. And that's exactly right. You still can take your other drugs, which, you know, we can discuss about how good they are, but, you know, at least you need to be doing this. So, protandem or an antioxidant, uh, or, uh, which is the best, that's the way to go. Talk to you soon. Thanks.